right. So, we are back from Christmas. Hope everyone had a good time with the family and friends or whoever else you spent it with. I know I did. Uh, I way too much. Then passed out. Then woke up again. Ate too much and passed out again. <laughs> uh, yeah, and then had leftovers for today. Um, yeah, so I guess we left off with Cloud and Aerith going back to, I think it was a Sector 5 slums? I think? We will see. Yeah, there we go. So we are a bodyguard now. It took me a while to get the hang of the combat again after not playing for so long. Since he heard about well, I got it. Warning. I'm standing inside the gutted shell of Mako Reactor 5. They're working for Wu Tai, isn't it obvious? There's still a lot of Cowards smoke rising using from the rubble. Spies, so they don't have to break While the fallen spire. beams and other debris continue you, to hinder rescue efforts, the fires appear to have been war. mostly extinguished. So we help catch the bombers. We get a reward or something? That's the director of Shinra's advanced weaponry hey, division, isn't it? Enough of that doom and gloom. Excuse me, ma'am, but, but would you mind answering a few questions? What's that? Uh, They're targeting reactors. Oh. No Can you give us any updates on the status of the reactor? So what kind of damage did it suffer in the again. explosion? Are we in any danger? Uh, Mako Reactor 5 has been temporarily shut down, and all fires have been successfully extinguished. The situation is under control, and the people of our fair city need not worry about any additional complications. We're in the process of conducting a full forensic investigation, but we suspect the device used was similar to that employed in the attack on Mako Reactor 1. The perpetrators of that atrocity were filmed making their escape. These agents of the eco-terrorist group Avalanche are currently believed to be in hiding somewhere in Midgar. And uh, given that this group has now attacked two reactors in quick succession, can they really be stopped before they strike again? What do you think? Hey, uh, what's up, Brian? Uh, so this is FF7 Remake. Have no fear. Shinra will keep Midgar safe. Okay, time's up! Alright, let's go. If I have to, I'm prepared to fight again. Oh, what timing. Mind lending me a hand? Place is really hopping, huh? Nice side effect of the train situation. So, what do you say? I'd love to, but... I help out every now and then. It's fun. Eris! Well, well. What are you doing all the way up there? Was trying to get a look at the reactor. Who's this guy? This is Cloud. He's a mercenary. And currently my bodyguard. That's Oats. See you. Two peas in a pod. Uh... I think it's on PS5, but... No, I'm playing it on PC. So, what are you guys up to? We all went to see the reactor. Oh, that's right. You're supposed to come by the house. Uh, what for? I don't know. You're just supposed to. Well, guess we have a new destination. I should probably explain. The Leaf House is the local orphanage. That's where all these kids live. Hey, Aerith, where'd you go? The church again? Next time, we should all go together. Why, hello, Aerith. As popular as ever, I see. Apparently, but they sure keep me on my toes. <laughs> uh, better than being bedridden. 
Thanks again for all those herbs. You've helped a lot of people. No problem. Anytime. How'd you manage to find so many anyway? <laughs> oh, I have my ways. And him? He's my bodyguard. Just until I get home. And you're sure he's up to it? Hmm. Maybe. Since I'm so generous, I gather medicinal herbs for his patients sometimes. Yep. Here's the leaf house. A ton of books. There you are. We're back, and we brought Aerith with us. Sorry to make you come out here. Oh, okay, that's Don't weird. Be. It's on my way home. His eyes are well, too then, big. Well, I hope you won't mind me asking for some flowers. No problem. How many? All you can carry. What with all the doom and gloom we've been hearing on the news recently, I thought some flowers might help cheer everyone up. I'm sure they will, and I'd love to help. Let's all wash up before our meal. Please grow big and yummy. So, Cloud, what's your favorite flower? They're all the same to me. Huh. You sure you want to say that to a florist? Better than lying. Okay. Then what'd you do with the flower I gave you? I, uh... You give it away? I did. Ooh, to who? Tell me. Don't recall. Hmm? What? Thought you didn't like lying. <sighs> well, anyway. My house is just up this path. Mom should be home by now, so I'll introduce you. There you go. That's my house. It's amazing. <laughs> No good? Rude came by. So, this is my mom, Elmira. And this is Cloud, my bodyguard. Uh, hi. Take good care of her? That's my job. <laughs> or was my job. Yep, thanks. So, Cloud, you gonna head back to Sector 7? Yeah. Then I'll show you the way. <laughs> Then why'd you have me bring you here? What if the Turks show up again? It'd suck, but I've dealt with them before. Honestly, I'm much more worried about you. What if you get lost, huh? You'd be too embarrassed to admit it, and so you'd just keep on going. Quit acting like you know me. Hey, Mom. I'm gonna go take Cloud over to Sector 7, okay? <sighs> okay. But why not wait until tomorrow? If you head out now, it'll be dark when you get back. Better to rest up here and make the trip first thing in the morning. When you'll have daylight to spare. That's true. She's got a point, Cloud. Hold up. Oh, yeah. I still need to deliver some flowers to the Leaf House. Since we have a little time before dinner, you should come with. That wasn't the deal. You mean you want more? Even though you've got a priceless reward coming your way, do you know what I promised him? I'll do it. <laughs> I'll go grab the baskets. Be right back. <sighs> that Aerith. She's a handful, isn't she? It must be tough. No, never mind. Hmm. Hmm. kitchen
take this one. Take it. Uh. <sighs> right. Off we go. <sighs> and these right here are my babies. Do you think we should pick? Any of them. Oh, don't be like that. I know you have an eye for this kind of thing. That's the one I gave you. Huh, it is? <laughs> nice try, mister. You can't fool me. I think we still need a few more. Which should we pick next? Good eye. People used to give these to declare their loyalty to one another. Interesting, right? She said, as many as you can carry, so maybe a few more? Thought there might be more. I think we're good now. What do you say? Shall we go? Uh, I think so. They can't go the other way, so I might as well. under the gun or anything I'm not cut out for this crap sure you are and when you're done you'll be drowning in job offers so how do you think they'll arrange these flowers don't know well we'll soon find out I'll wait out here. Oh, okay. But I might be a while. Why not check out the town? Where's Aerith? 
The Leaf House. Ah, uh, I did not. Are you going on a trip or something? Is something wrong? You could say that. Sounds like someone spooked the kids. Yeah, two of them disappeared. They ran away after this creepy guy wearing black clothes showed up. A Turk? That's what I thought, but no. It's this guy who's always stumbling around town in a dirty robe full of holes. They say he's sick or something. Oh, and he had some kind of number tattooed on his arm. I don't like the sound of this. I'm gonna check it out. I know someone who fits that description. I'll come with. Okay. Come on. Oh, nice. Take your PC. If you're gonna house it. Cloud, I understand you must be busy, but I hope you haven't forgotten about my research. Oh, hello. Cloud has been assisting me with my research and development. Ooh, that sounds fun. Count me in. One moment while I run diagnostics. Yeah, the. Huh. How very strange. The characters and everything look really good in this database. game. Um, and that's bad? There must have been I think some when sort it released, there oh well, was some. Any friend of Clouds is sure to be of great I guess help. like, not controversy, but people were kind of upset about some of the other textures. with the most fascinating theory. Perhaps you can lend me your assistance in gathering data to test it? Yeah, I think. Cloud, I have the most amazing oh, news. Gosh. I believe I might know how to develop summoning materia, something heretofore thought impossible. Scientists say that this materia can only be found in nature, but I may just be able to prove otherwise. And so, Cloud, I turn to you. I would like to test this theory by way of my combat simulator. To wit, I want you to fight and defeat summon data in VR. I sense that you find my phrasing to be somewhat obtuse. It's, uh, so there's like... Mm, there is main story, which I, I just finished like a section of it um, before I got to this area. Um, but there's like a section of main story, a section of open, and openness is more just like exploring the area and there's some side missions and then after you do that there's like another section of story so the story is pretty linear and like i guess the side stories are pretty linear too so it's not super open um but it is nice i like the pacing of it please let me know when you've made your preparations Is both oil for the door and a fancy night out for the wife. I have to tell you that I'm grateful for all of your help thus far. Yeah, I, I think I've done it. I've developed a new material. I think this um, game is like the PS5 or PS4 Pro version because it came out a bit, I think it came out before the PS5. Um, and I think it's got a little bit more graphical stuff compared to the ps4 like higher frame rate and stuff but um yeah otherwise i think it's pretty close automatically uses provoke temporary draw the enemy's attention oh nice then i invite you to ready your portable battle simulator Oh 
Shiva. Go on! 
freeze him? Oh. Yo! You're better than this. Outstanding. Standing. The Shiva summoning materia is oh, complete. Shit. That's cool. And now it's yours. Use it as you see fit. The Lady of Frost nice. is the perfect companion for a man like you, Cloud. She will prove most useful when the time comes to destroy Shinra. to receiving all of your future battle intel submissions. I've got the finest collection of materia you'll find anywhere. Wait, so you said sealed gate? Steam says coming soon. Oh. Yeah, I, I never played Stardew Valley. to grown-ups but if we want to rescue them well we gotta break the rules yeah I, I think the second part of this ff7 remake is going to be way more open world um at least that's what it Oops! seems like it will be you're back Eric's come to help yeah leave it to us we'll take care of it from here but there are monsters out there! Don't worry. I've brought a super strong friend along with me. I used to be a soldier. So where's the guy? I don't know. He disappeared and we can't find him. Right now, let's worry about the kids. Come on. You guys have got to hurry and find our friends, okay? <sighs> they ran off this way. Be careful. Where do you think they went? Who knows? They're kids. Nothing to do but look all over. I just hope we find them in time. Uh, no, the, the second part of the remake is not out yet. Um, I think it's coming early next year? Or middle of next year sometime? Yeah, and that game looks ridiculous. Thank <laughs> you. 
Fire and down. Hello? <laughs> Yo. Leave this to uh, me. I don't think so. Yeah, that's why I'm playing this, because I want to play it. Also, because I've never. This is my first time playing anything FO7 related. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> on for MX for CV. Dude, Legends feels like ass. But it looks good, it just doesn't feel good. Kinda in a rush, so <laughs> Thank you for stopping by. I appreciate you. We're having a good night. Quickly, we gotta save them. All right. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'll definitely look at it. Um. Yeah, I mean, I've, obviously, FF is like. I'm here. All right. God damn it! Calling yourself a bodyguard. You gotta be careful. Wow. Ah, oh, come on. 
Yeah, um, obviously FF is like very, uh, like renowned, right? Yeah, I would like to play the the original after this. But sometimes it's really hard for me to get like into those older games. Hold on. You're done. It's easy if you have common sense. Yeah. Oh. It's on you. Hold on. Tagging out. I got this. That's that. Going in. Just go away. Is uh, Crisis Core before or after this game? Because I know it's part of FF7, right?
This was, was pretty good. I uh, went to my friend's house and had a big Christmas with their family. Um, ate way too much food and then passed out <laughs> for like three hours.
Is that poison? That's a. It, you know, it could be worse, I guess. <laughs> Frozen corn dog. Dude, that's such a long drive. Protecting myself, you know. Let's finish this. See ya. 
Mr. Popular. That was so cool, you guys. Especially that cool, oh, yeah! Yeah, it was really cool when you went like, yeah, yeah! You've got it all wrong. Like that. No way, it's way faster than that. Yeah, yeah, like that. Fine, then how about... Soldier, now I'm a babysitter. What the hell? Like your girlfriend? No. Hmm, but she's someone special. It's not like that. More like. I don't know how to explain it. I see. <laughs> That's funny. Well, what do you think? Do I have what it takes? Thank you. From now on, if you run into trouble, promise me you'll find an adult, okay? Okay, I will. And here, since you're so cool, you guys are both grown-ups, but you're also one of us now. You can come and play here whenever you want. Oh, thanks, kid. Similar. Huh? There's the number, but why two? Who knows? Come to think. <laughs> the reunion. Oh, what? Sephiroth is. Do you? Sephiroth, the war hero? I know he died in an accident five years ago. They said so on the news. Maybe they did. But I've got a feeling he's still alive. Oh, right. Come on, let's go. Mm. <laughs> Alas, poor prince, I must confess I am not from this planet. I heard he came back because he got sick or something. Isn't that kind of weird? Can soldiers even you get sick? My dad told me that that man, he used to be a soldier when he was younger. Hey, Cloud, I know a lot of people around here need help. When I'm out on patrol, a lot of them tell me about their problems. Do you think you might be interested in helping out? Well, I'm all for it. We still have plenty of time. I'm on the clock. Don't worry. I give you permission. I always have the latest information. Come find me if you want to know. Where did he go? Oh, there he is. Oh, he's a, he's a merchant. Oh, 
my! Is that a Moogle? You can see me, Koopa? And you two must be very, very special people. In that case, welcome to the Moogle Emporium. I'm the owner, Moggy. You must not be familiar with Mog the Moogle. It's a pretty famous fairy tale. Mog wanted to bring happiness to all the Moogles of the forest, so he decided to open a shop of wonders. That's right, Koopa. I open a store to bring happiness to the slums, like Mog. And you know, only people with the purest of hearts can even see Moogles. Uh, are you talking about me? Well, Moogle magic isn't perfect, Koopa. Anyway, we've collected all kinds of rare and wondrous goods. They can be yours if you've got enough Moogle medals. But you'll need to buy a membership first. If you find any Moogle medals, you can spend them here, Koopa. So, Moggy, what do you do with the medals we give you? Oh, you know what? I use them to make everyone happy. That's the duty of every Moogle. Of course, just like Mog the Moogle. I see you're working hard, Mr. Herc. Yep. So what are you gonna do next? Keep on working hard. As you always do, I'm sure. You know, this is how I earn a living. Huh? Really? I thought you were just doing it for fun. I suppose some people do. Hello, I'm some people. Nice to meet you. Welcome, Koopa.